Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines from Jacques Gaines Photography, and this is part of my Illuminar series. I'm now an Illuminar partner, and I can get you a deal, people. But at the same time, I wanted to show you some of the edits I do within the Luminar environment. And today, what we're going to do is edit a portrait inside Photoshop, export it to Luminar, do some instant gratification, pull that thing out back into Photoshop, just to show you that you don't necessarily have to migrate to Luminar to benefit from the benefits of Luminar. So stay tuned. So hello people. So today I'm going to edit a portrait, a really beautiful portrait of a woman I work with. Her name is Mariette. Uh, it was a lot of fun working with her. She's just a total artist. I will live, leave links to her Instagram and her website and what she does. She's a traveling model. So I, you guys, I strongly suggest you to check it out. But let's start right away. We're going to take her raw file right here, which is uh, Mariette. Let me see. Let's look at that shot really well. Oops, I got to zoom that in a tiny bit. Let's see. That's the shot we're going to edit today. So let's go into that shot right away. Open it up. And we're opening up in RAW within Photoshop. Exposure looks pretty darn good. I might bring it up a bit. Contrast would be... Our levels are great. By the way, this was shot with the Fujifilm X-T2 and the 56mm F... Actually, I will check that. Give me a second, people. I will definitely check which lens I'm using here. Because I think it's beneficial that uh, you people know. So it's a 50... Yep, the 56mm F1.2 and the uh, X-T2 by Fujifilm, a nice camera, people. I highly recommend it. So I'm gonna take this shot and do some a tiny bit of edits within Photoshop right away, and then I'm going to export it to Luminar, do just a couple of edits, and we'll see where we can go with it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is crop this and level it out. I will not go for original ratio, I will go for Five seven's a bit long. Four five. I like four five. Um, I will go lateral as well, because I do want a bit of that space of the blue in the back and to debalance. I really like that she's off balance here. There you go. Pull it up. Now a couple of things I am going to do to this image is I am going to go Control J, create a new layer, call it Main. And I will apply an adjustment layer. I'm going to do some retouching. So let me just make a new layer, call it retouches. There you go, retouches. Let's go see what we got to do. I don't think we have much to do. Press zoom in here, see what we have. Her face looks great. Her eyes are fantastic. The hair is nice, very nice. You know, this image, what's really funny is that her face isn't perfectly in focus and her hair is actually in focus. So it gives a quite a cool mystic effect. Everything about Mariette is mystic. She's just a mystic girl. So I, I already got my shot. I got no re retouches to do. I got nothing to do in this. I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I can't see much that I want to do on this picture. Uh, where do you want to dodge and burn? Do you want to dodge and burn Luminar? Do you want to dodge and burn here? I will dodge and burn here really quick. Go to my adjustments layer, create a curve layer. I'm going to go and press uh, in the darker area and pull down. Give me a second here. Pull down a bit. That's going to be my burn layer. Call it burn. Guys, I got to go around a microphone to show you stuff. Invert that mask. Go adjustment layers. Curve. I'm going to go to the lighter spot and bring that up. And I'm going to call this Dodge. Dodge. Cool. And I'm going to take that mask and invert it. I'm going to go paint inside the mask and get some brightness in areas where I want her the hair, hair to pop a tiny bit. And I will burn a tiny bit in places where I want some darkness to come in. Make sure the opacity of my brush is low a bit. I tend to keep my brush a bit high when it comes to um, uh, dodge. And when it comes to burn, I like to bring the opacity a bit low because if you don't, you got to watch out. It can look a bit fake. I like that a lot. 
I'm going to take these two, make a group, control G, make a group, call it dodge and burn. There you go. For now, I think I'm going to flatten this image because it's really what I think is a good thing that we can do is I'm going to go sh shift control alt E. That'll flatten. I'll call this new main for Luminar. New main for Luminar. There you go. So I got my new main right here. Everything underneath are the adjustments. If ever I change my mind, I can go back and do what I need to do. But a beautiful image of Mariette for sure. And you know what? I think I'm finished in Photoshop. Time to go into Luminar. Now, I have installed Luminar as a plugin. If you guys want to do that and you want to do it well, it's pretty darn simple. It's two buttons and it's done. But uh, if you want to check it out, you can check the website. They do show you on the tutorials page. They will show you how to actually install Luminar as a plugin within Photoshop. So here we go. Uh, I'll, all I have to do is go to the filters panel and down at the bottom, Skylum software appears after you've installed as a plugin. I press the button Luminar. Luminar opens up and it opens up with the image that you've just done. And here we are in the familiar user interface of Luminar. Now let's play with some immediate instant gratification. I am not even going to get into any of the details. I'm just going to go add filters right away. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go to uh, two things that I just love to use. LUT mapping. In LUT mapping, I am going to play with probably there is one that's really, really cool. Oh, a uh, I click on that. And this is the type of feeling we get and vibe quick. Was that quick or what? And that right away to me is just absolutely beautiful. You can tone that down. And what I like to do is tone down and bring up contrast a bit and play with that a tiny bit saturation a bit. But you can do some great stuff in there and do some cool stuff. Just for the hell of it, let's look at some other LUTs out there. There's Tritone, which gives you some really dramatic stuff. Uh, there is uh, one that I really love is Involve. Involve gives you just this really dramatic look. You know, because of the look of her eyes, it might be something you might be interested in. You can pull that down. That is the original, and that is what we do. Remember that you can always use masks as well. In this case, because you're darkening in the background a bit, a, a lot, you might want to go into the masks and brush in this effect where you want it. Make sure it's a bit lower, like right there. And then I'll go and I'll go take the brush. Uh, you can look at where you're brushing in the mask by pressing uh, this little eyeball here. Now watch out. What happens is... Why do you see just red right now is because Luminar assumes, oops, this guy wants a mask over the whole thing because it works backwards. Right when you start brushing in, then it flips the mask for you. So let's go to her face. Let's brush in a tiny bit. And there you go. Now we're back to the situation where there's no more mask and you're brushing in the mask where you want it. Now you can go to the eyeball, press the eyeball and see where you're going. And you can start brushing in where you want that effect to be. There's a bit of lateness in my software. It's a long story. But let's get her at least brushed in. I'm going to open bracket and close bracket just like in Photoshop. Your shortcuts to make your brush bigger or smaller. Give it time to come in. Okay, so this will just affect her face. Give it time to pop in. Got to get a new graphics card, people. I really do. Now, what I just did now is just took away the actual mask so you can see where it has been applied. Let's look at the before and let's look at the after on this. So I go over here, press the uh, button right here. After I go out of the brush, I go before. This is before. This is after, before, after. There you go. That's all I wanted to show you guys right now was the instant gratification 
of getting this stuff done like you want it and getting some cool stuff happening really, really quick. Now, play with the LUTs. It, I think the big advice piece of advice I have for a lot of people who just got Luminar is it's the first thing. If you are a portrait person, play with the LUTs right away. The LUT mapping filter, you're going to have a lot of fun. Another one you might be interested in, and I'll just show you really quickly. Go to Add Filters. And I saw someone do this on the, and it's really cool. It's just a beautiful Orton, uh, Orton effect. So we'll press on that. We'll show you the amount. We'll bring it up. And that brings in, it's just, you know, everything you, for some reason, these people over at Luminar, they just know what makes a picture really cool. So there's a bit of a softness in there. And you can bring this down or up. And you can also mask this in and put it where you want using the mask. You can also use other masks. Like, for example, I can use a radial mask. It'll ask you to click to draw in your mask. There you go. I can pull that out and make it sort of form a vignette of what you want. And I can press the amount, make it go up so it's higher. And we can also make the effect come in there and less on the shoulder, which might also be nice. There you go. Let's see what that looks like. Softness, brightness. It just really analyzes the the photo really well and brings in stuff. It, I, it seems to know where light sources are and the whole bit in its analysis. So I can press that and go and there your effect is already brought in pretty darn cool huh so let's just show you again so heed my piece of advice there you go there's the shot now let's bring it back into photoshop and we will end this so what you do you'll see that up at the top here on the right if you're not in standalone and you're as a plugin it'll say apply instead of export so you basically press apply once you press apply, it'll export the image back into Photoshop and create a layer, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So here it goes, filter luminar, there you go. There's the shot, there's the shot. Remember that you can always go like this and look at the old because it has created a flattened layer of the shot that you wanted. So that is the shot. And that's how you can use luminar as an instant gratification plugin within Photoshop. I hope you guys like this video. Like, share, subscribe. Jacques Gaines Photography is not only about the getting the shot, but it's also about the journey getting there. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing.